what is going on everybody welcome to tutorial number 17 of bootstrap and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a drop down and <coughs> you have already seen a drop down before if you don't remember here's how a drop down looks like so we have already created this drop down in the navigation bar but let's just take a look at it formally that how we actually code it so let's just go underneath this div and yeah so let's start coding a drop down so for the drop down I'm sorry the drop down you need a div or anything else a ul would also go just like we made use of here but I'm just making use of the div right now and just like this we have to add a class of drop down right here and here you go and obviously the closing div and then what we need is we need to toggle this drop down somehow in this case in the menu case we made use of this a tag so let's just make use of this a tag only and uh, let's just copy this thing right here and just paste it so you see that I'm making use of href hash and you can just change it to javascript void to avoid the jumping of page class drop down toggle you can just get rid of that because that's not really required data toggle drop down this line is this you can say this attribute is required for the drop down to work so don't omit it and this is not required okay and this text is what would be your drop down so let's just say open drop down and this carrot this would add a little triangle icon like that something like that or the down one to your drop down um, you know just in front of this open drop down text so it looks like that it is some kind of drop down okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to create a list which would be shown when this link is clicked and that's pretty simple what you have to do is you have to create a ul of class drop down menu and just follow it strictly li ahref whatever let's just say this is drop down item one I guess I missed the closing tag don't worry drop down item two and why not just copy it again and again And why not just close all the divs and make HTML5 happy? Okay, so here goes the three, four, five. All right, so we are set. Now, the next thing we have to do is to just check it out on the browser. Let's just reload this. And down here, you see, if I click on this open the drop down, you see nothing happens, but actually something has happened if you scroll down here you see the drop down opens now this drop down is opening down so that kinda looks jaggy and makes the page jump a bit so you can even make this open upwards or you can you know just apply some styles on this to make it a button so let's just say if I switch this A to a button let's just say and we don't need the href now and I add a class of button button primary uh, let's check this out and as you can see it looks much better now and to make it the drop down to make the drop down open on the top what you have to do is you have to make use of the drop down menu and dash then the class and with that you can toggle the left and right positions of your drop down so if I add to this UL let's just say drop down menu right and if I go to my page and click here you see the drop down appears here instead of here now this is useful if you are having like a full width button so if you are having a width of 100% uh, 
and you don't want the drop down to have a 100% width but you want to toggle the position from left to right then you know in that case you can make use of that and about the top what I was talking is that you can make use of the drop up class and here you see instead of drop down just change this to drop up so that kind of makes a lot of sense because a drop down is you know just you can imagine it drops down but a drop up would just go up and don't worry you don't need to change all of these classes right there that would work fine with the drop up as well so yeah so that's pretty much it for the drop down and drop up as you can see and that's how you basically create a simple drop down menu and toggle that so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.